I have been using this AI system to do all my marketing and sales in the last two years. And because of how I leveraged this in my current business, I was able to generate literally millions of dollars for myself and my current clients. Because truth is at this very specific moment, AI is a true cheat code because if you leverage it in the right way, it can save you hundreds of thousands of dollars, thousands of hours in doing research, manual effort, manual things, manual prospecting that will cost crazy amount of money or crazy amount of time. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step system in which I'm leveraging AI to automate the five core parts of my business in literally seconds. So let's not waste time, let's jump dart into clay and let's touch the first step of uh, every kind of marketing sys process, which is building a list, building your total addressable market and how to leverage clay. For example, guys, let's say we want uh, agencies. We can create a new table and we can start from companies. Companies, it scrapes directly from LinkedIn, so extremely easy to get any kind of company that is on LinkedIn. Agencies and service businesses, especially if they are B2B, of course, they are on LinkedIn, what we can do is, okay, all the companies from 11 to 200 employees, let's say we only want agencies from United States, we can use some keyword like agency preview company. It seems incredible with just a couple of clicks, we got uh, all the agents in the United States, import, import to new table, continue for free, and we got all the company names, uh, the website, uh, and all the information that uh, we really need to create a very sophisticated outreach. And from here, our call, we will see later that we can literally get uh, any kind of data, because now we have name, description, primary industry, but using all the other AI agents inside uh, Clay, we can get something like the technology, we can get the website traffic, we can get if they are running ads, we can get what are the people inside the company, etc, etc. Second way to actually build a very good lead list, let's say that you are targeting local business, you can connect one of the agent into maps, find local businesses on Google Maps, you can put like your city, like Miami, Florida, free text, and maybe you want a gym, you can adjust the radius, like gym. You can put uh, just for an example, I don't know, 50 gyms, continue, next new table, and magically you get the list of all the gyms in Miami. And from the gyms, you can totally get the website, from the website, the name of the owner, the phone, the email that we will use later to actually create our own outreach. Next, uh, maybe you have all the contacts in the CRM. CRM is a bit messy and you want to reach the CRM. You can start from Upspot, you can start from Close, you can start from Salesforce or any kind of data source. Most famous CRM are already inside Clay. Or maybe you want to start from technology. You want to start, for example, your uh, Upspot uh, software implementation partner. You want to get all the companies that are using Upspot because it's the perfect fit for you. Very easy. We can start from here. We can put Upspot. We can get all the companies that already using Upspot. And of course, guys, this is just the beginning because when we have those data, then we can do whatever. We can find uh, job changes. We can track all the companies on all the people that are changing companies. We can track track uh, if those companies are running ads, so we can track uh, if a decision maker actually changed the job position, maybe from a manager become a VP of sales, and maybe this is exactly the right way to reach out, the right moment to reach out, because they have different budget, different responsibilities, and more money, more budget to actually invest in your solution. Secondly, we have uh, people who create new table. We have a people table that again gets information from LinkedIn. Let's say that we want uh, include job titles like all the CMO in uh, let's say United States okay preview people and you really get the list of all the people on LinkedIn that are listed as CMO. You can import all these people, they would be like tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. This is the easiest thing, but of course, maybe these CMO are very generic and maybe you want to start from a list of companies. So you can start from, again, agencies and you get the CMO of all the agencies. So you would start from a company table first and then find all the CMO. This is a second option. A third option would be using an AI agent 
content and get the name of the CMO or the owner from the website. Because uh, for example, let's say we are talking about local businesses. Here, it's very tough to get all the contacts from LinkedIn because okay, we have the company website, but in a local business, especially in a B2C business, if you want to get the contact of the owner, you can actually find the name of the owner, but checking manually on the website is tough. What you can do instead is just creating an agent, Clagent, which is a live version of GPT, you can scrape the web. Uh, for website, find the name of the owner of this gym. Just return the name of the owner. Okay, save, run 10 rows, and in this way, GPT will automatically go on the website of each of these companies to actually find maybe in the about page, maybe in the footer, maybe on Google Maps. If the owner is listed, it will bring all the results and will return all the results to our agent. So in this way, we, we can later enrich the emails and create super relevant message. Okay, as you can see, step by step, uh, second after second, we are getting all the names, uh, name and surname of the owners, but uh, we can totally go one step further, right? Because we started from companies, in this case, uh, James. We got the name of the owners. From the name of the owners, now we can actually find the information, right? Another agent, play agent for domain, try to find the email of this business and just return the email and nothing else. We can even define the output so that a GPT will be more accurate. And this is just a company email, but my guess is that if you're prospecting to a local business, my guess is that 90% of the times so the owner will actually reply to the info at email, the company email. But if you want to go one step further, you can even use tools like Lead Magic. You already have the name of the owner because we found it with a clay agent. You you can put the social profile, the person's email, you can put the company domain and from the person email to the company domain, we'll find all the iteration till you find the right email so that you can contact them at scale in a super relevant way. Okay, phone number, this is the company phone number. If you want the mobile phone number, the personal phone number, you can even get this because you have a waterfall enrichment of phone numbers based in EMEA or US and Canada. Again, you need the, the social profile this time of the owner. So this is a little bit trickier. It's better for bigger companies, but for example, let's say we have CMOs, CMOs of agencies. We already have the LinkedIn profile. We put the LinkedIn profile here and with 60-70% of accuracy, according to my tests, you can actually get the mobile phone of the owner in a totally relevant way. Next, uh, uh, what we would need, we can even find like a Facebook, we can find Instagram. In the same way, we use Clayton, go on the website and find the information. Next uh, could be the address. Maybe we want to create an offline campaign. Maybe we want to send the uh, salesperson to actually go in the gym and try to sell something, or we want to send a flyer. We want to send and dark may we can totally do this all these uh, strategies are actually effective and still working in 2025 but you need an incredible ai system ai technology like clay so that you can make your list faster and really automate the research part and the sending part of this outbound campaigns and guys it's not just limited to context from context we can even go more in depth and really try to understand what are the situation of these companies because reaching out with the same message to 10,000 different companies yeah maybe with volume is effective but what if you can reach out to the right company with the right message according to their personal situation for example let's say that we are selling uh, Facebook ads it's very different to sell Facebook ads to a gym that is already running ads to a gym that is not running ads because to the one that's not running ads we can say hey you know that we have a new system with facebook ads to actually get new people to your gym but if you reach out to gyms that are already running ads they would say oh yeah of course i'm already doing that but if you reach out in a totally different way something like you know that we have an incredible lead magnet that can decrease the cost of your ads by 50 percent and vice versa if you reach out to this message to someone who's not running ads it won't be effective how can we do this with clay and guys this is just one of the many examples but it's extremely easy because with Clay, we can just use SEMrush. SEMrush is another agent, another API. You see, get traffic analytics. We can put the company URL, save, run 10 rows. We can get all the details of the traffic. These, of course, are small businesses. It would be less effective, but still very effective. In the, for example, desktop, we can understand what are the page visits, categories, bounce rate, 
are running ads or not, like total visit, data accuracy, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, for example, this uh, particular gym, which I think is a little bit bigger than the other, you say paid visits, dark visit, search visit, social visits. So you can add this as a column, paid visit. You can even go more in depth and use tools such as Apify, and I have most of them inside the Clay Scaler Handbook that you find in the description, that you can use this to actually get way more accurate information. Apify has like thousands of different scrapers and you can connect the scrapers into clay and get even more accurate results and all of this data actually allow you to execute on very sophisticated and advanced techniques but all of these of course are not easy to explain in a youtube videos of 10 minutes right so guys this is a shameless plug but uh, i put together a very sophisticated handbook with all my knowledge all my source about sales marketing inbound automation how to turn you into a high paid go-to-market engineer i have the it regularly you get access to a community of peers that like you are entering a new go-to-market engineer career and i have a series of clay live trainings every week so that you can get all my knowledge and i will reply to all of your questions so if this sounds interesting just go to the description and click on the first video i promise you will like what you find there now the next thing you can actually do with clay is actually using his power to separate the accounts and prospect into tiers because you know there are some accounts and prospects that are more important and others that are less important and you should actually allocate a different budget for each one okay in terms of strategy most of the times you can divide your team your total addressable market so the list of all the companies you can sell to into tier a accounts tier b accounts and let's say that you are selling like cybersecurity solution or service like facebook ads tier a would be the list of 100 companies like huge companies that spend i don't know 1 million per year in ads so you should treat them differently of course to companies that normally spend i don't know 30k to companies that only spend like a couple of thousand of dollars for these guys so tier b you will have a low acv so a lot of contacts but low acv means average contact value so they are not worth a lot to you tier a very high acv and yes comes even the top 100 list strategy so the marketing activities are different how you separate them i will show you it at a moment using clay but for tier a you should use a one-to-one -one marketing try not to automate too much here and i would use very expensive solutions very expensive way to reach out to really stand out from the crowd for example let's say you're tier a you have a manager from coca-cola a manager from coca-cola can spend like 10 millions with ads with you right what i would do here is uh, using direct mails invite them into your podcast ABM LinkedIn ad, gifts, events, billboards, holidays, even, I don't know, gifting Michelin star restaurant like dinners. Why? Because if you get it once, it will be worth millions for the next years. One to one, any kind of one to one activity. What I usually suggest is, okay, use clay to divide tier A, B, and maybe then C, and for tier A, allocate some budget only for that. I don't know, $10,000 only for a tier A account. For these, actually spend as much as it is reasonable to get them because one of them can 10x the return on investment because, of course, one can move a lot of money. For the others, of course, you need like one too many strategies like cold emails, LinkedIn automation, and all the automation stuff that we are talking about. So let's use Clay to actually filter tiers A, B, and C. For example, let's say that we have a list of CMOs. For me, a tier A could be like all the companies, all the CMOs in a company that has more than, I don't know, under employees a thousand employees it's really personal it's really up to your own judgment how can we do this with clay it's pretty easy so first we have the list of all cmos in america right okay cool first i would reach the company and get as much information as possible to understand if they are in a company that's tier a or b how is it lead magic a rich company social url okay we don't have the linkedin url of the company but we have the company domain so first let's use clay agent to find uh, the company url for company domain try to find the official linkedin company page just return the url and nothing else okay because uh, lead magic actually needs as an input uh, a linkedin profile 
Okay, cool. So basically, Clay Agent got into the website, and from the website, he got some LinkedIn URL. As you can see now, we have actually the LinkedIn URL, and you see there are like two to ten people, a thousand followers of this data. How can I get this data easily? Let's use Lead Magic. Lead Magic is an email provider, but it's so cool that you have so many different AI agents connected to that, like a rich company. Let's put as an input the LinkedIn company URL. Now we have that. And we want uh, as an output employee count and the range. Save, run the rows. Okay, cool. As you can see, we are getting all the information. We can use a start because it's a range, right? From 2 to 10 employees. So we have from 2 to 10, 11 to 15, 1,000 to 5,000, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, now we want to create a formula, which is free, by the way. Okay. So if start employee count is greater than 100, return tier A. If not, return tier B. Generic formula. We now have our tier B and tier A. Now we can download the list, separate the list, and tell to our SDR, right, to tier A, you have a budget, you can invite them to a dinner or to whatever you need. For tier B, just create automations and in a moment I will show you how to create hyper-personalized messages at scale toward any channel, email, LinkedIn, direct mail, and call calls. Now that we have separated tier A to tier B, let's talk about tier B to really automate our effort for 90% of the market, of the leads. Of course, how can we do this? Easy. So let's go step by step, channel by channel. Email. With email, you can connect providers like Smart Lead or Instantly which are very premium providers. I personally use Smart Lead, Lead to Campaign. As you can see, you can add the email address, first name, last name, phone, location, personalization. So if you want to reach out saying something like, hey, Gregory, this, you have such a cool gym called MD Corp in uh, Miami. And I noticed that you're not running Facebook ads, but uh, you are kind of uh, big company. Maybe you should use my solution. This, of course, guys, is just an example that just to make you understand. If you follow the other videos, I have examples and suggestions about the copy and the strategy, etc., etc. This is just a very fast demo to show you what is possible. Cool. And this is email. Quite easy, quite fast. And you can really contact tens of thousands of businesses every day. I'm running crazy campaigns. Volume is king. And you can use volume staying relevant. This is the beauty of cold emails. Secondly, for LinkedIn, I suggest to use HeyReach. HeyReach is a LinkedIn automation tool. You just need very similar to Smartlead, actually. You see your variables, last name, first name, personal LinkedIn URL, and you can automate. You can connect your LinkedIn profile or you can connect multiple LinkedIn profile from your company and you can distribute messaging so that you can have higher reach. The only limitation of LinkedIn, of course, so first it converts a little better, but it's limited because with emails, you just can buy very easily new domains and addresses and send high volume with LinkedIn. You are limited to something like 20 new connections per day. You can buy a lot of profiles, but it's a little bit more expensive. So each channel has its own advantages and disadvantages. Finally, we have phone. With phone, you can again find the phone numbers in the way I showed you before with the waterfall enrichment from the phone. You can actually upload all the phone in a dialer like phone burner. Pretty effective power dialer so that an SDR can actually reach out again in the case of cold calls they are extremely effective probably the most effective channel but of course it's more expensive and less scalable if you want to use some automation and some technology in uh, our dialers you can probably use something like nukes they are more expensive but they have a predicted dialer that calls simultaneously a lot of phones and just redirect to you the one who respond fast so that you have a higher connect rate and that's it guys so uh, you can totally streamline your own marketing and sales operation with this amazing technology you can actually create different tiers and prospect accordingly and so if you followed along and you took notes and you put everything into practice you now have on the most efficient way in the world to actually create a world-class outbound and go-to-market systems but there's another extremely powerful strategy that you can start using right now that will auto-generate warm leads for you so you can prospect and really increase 
usually your conversion rates, which by the way, I've seen generating results that are pretty crazy and totally impossible to have in uh, outbound. Something like one meeting booked out to every 50 contacted, list is auto generated and really making more profitable every channel that you're using for marketing. So watch this video here to actually see what kind of piece of software I'm using combined with Clay to actually turn your website into a lead machine that suggests new leads to the STR team so that they can actually create new deals, new sales in a totally automated manner. Thanks so much and see you there.